Oh, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel finally with the atomic camel grind. I have everything diamond minus the bug weapons, but I have everything diamond except for submachine guns and assault rifles right now. And with the ARs, I have every base assault rifle gold except for the STG. But if you use the STG before Vanguard launched when you could use it in Warzone early, it bugged out your weapon. But the good thing is the Cooper Carbine got put in the game and people have discovered that if your STG is bugged, you can replace the STG with getting the Cooper Carbine gold. And then once the Cooper's gold, then you get Diamond ARs, which literally leaves me with just submachine guns left, which is really nice. And for those that have their M1 Grand, STG, and Panzerfaust bugged, which everyone's Panzerfaust is bugged, but if you were a Warzone player and used the Vanguard guns before Vanguard launched, then the M1 Grand and STG and the Panzerfaust are all being fixed on the 15th or 16th, I believe. One day is a Warzone update, and then the other day is the Vanguard update, and the Vanguard update should be the update that actually fixes the game and improves all the issues that players were having previously. One thing that's also really nice is I just have some machine guns left, which is going to be quick for me because yesterday I got the NZ-41 and the Volkstrom Gewehr gold in with about, what, I would say four hours of gameplay. And then after that, I completed the... I guess I didn't complete it, but I got the Cooper leveled up to level 53. So probably another hour and a half of grinding and I have Diamond ARs. And one thing I also completely forgot about till now was they added the ptrs i don't know what it's i think it's called just the anti-tank rifle in this game but the ptrs and whatever the two new melee weapons are i can go and get those gold once i complete diamond smgs i was going to complete them a little bit early like once they just came out of the game and i was going to make videos like hey i got the new uh samurai sword diamond but i wanted to complete everything up for atomic first that way when the update comes out and the guns are fixed then i can just unlock atomic camo and be on my way and probably do the dark aether grind next which i'm not a huge fan of doing right now i've played a little bit of zombies to level up weapons when that double weapon xp bug was a thing where you could get your weapon max level within a couple hours but since there's no double weapon xp and that method has been patched i have no want or desire to play zombies and i can't see myself grinding a dark aether until we get a round base map whenever that is apparently like february march is when we're getting the first round base map in the game so looks like i'm gonna be playing warzone till then or minecraft even like i've my minecraft server that's in my discord which is linked in the description below a couple of us since the caves and cliffs update have been grinding out that and we have a really cool seed that we've been working on so who knows i might post some videos on that and and i guess i gotta get this out of the way too uh but gamer subs are actually having their holiday sale for 2021 uh link in the top of the description use code wild for 10 percent off and i think there's up to four tiers of extra gifts you can get depending on what you purchase and how much you purchase and you can get some crazy extras in there as well um unfortunately i guess gamer subs wise the black cherry flavor here is sold out but it's by far the best flavor it's like kool-aid on crack that's what it tastes but yeah uh i haven't been uploading very frequently recently because of exams I wrote an exam in the morning before I recorded this video, so this video is probably going to go up in the afternoon at some point, but I've just been swamped with school and exams, and I think I have one exam left on Thursday, and then I have no school up until January the 10th, so I can return to basically daily uploads, and for those wanting the Diamond Assault Rifle Guide, that will come out most likely on Thursday or Friday. I have to get the Cooper gold first, and you'll probably see a Cooper video tomorrow. And then we'll get back into the swing of things with camel grinds and camel guides, as well as commentaries. I'm going to be doing a full review of Vanguard, very similarly to how the Act Man does his reviews. I'm gonna go in depth with everything from A to Z within the game, so that's gonna be coming out as well. And then when I get Atomic Camo, the full Atomic Camel Guide will be coming out. I'll have all the kind of sub-Atomic Guide videos, so what you should know going into the Atomic Camel Grind, which categories are the easiest, which categories are the hardest, what categories you should do in order if you want to get the camos done as fast as possible, kind of all that type of stuff. And then the Was It Worth It video discussing if grinding Atomic in the first place was worth it. 
And then after that, I'll probably be posting some Caldera Warzone stuff. And this is a fun fact that I know no one cares or has asked, but my first ever Caldera game I won, and then I've gotten a couple wins since. And I'm pretty sure my Warzone win-loss ratio in Caldera is somewhere around like a 0 0.2, 0 0.3, because I've only played like seven games and I've won three out of the seven. So whatever that is put into an percent or a ratio, that's pretty much how successful I am in Caldera. I'm not a huge fan of the map so far. I'm, I kind of hate climbing the hills every single match. And it seems like whoever has the high ground just wins because a team that has the high ground on you will kill you. And then nine times out of 10 when I've played to a team that has killed me on higher elevation, Literally, as I'm spectating them and how I died in the kill cam, another team from even higher elevation comes down and kills them. And it's literally just like this huge domino effect on Caldera, where once one team pushes from high elevation, it's just like a staircase of dominoes where like teams will just keep pushing down from high elevation to get easy kills. So maybe it's just map awareness too. Maybe I'm just bad at the game or just I don't know the map well enough to rotate properly. But yeah, we're almost done the atomic grind. If you guys watched the F1 race on the weekend where Max won the World Drivers Championship, I was kind of a little upset. Max definitely deserves the win this year. I can't dispute that. I'm a huge Mercedes and Hamilton fan, but I Hamilton won that race. With how the rules are and what Michael Massey did, Hamilton won that race in my eyes. Max definitely deserves the championship. Same with Lewis. They were pretty even head and head all season long uh i just don't like how the race was basically decided by the fia and not by the drivers themselves which kind of sucks so but yeah mercedes won the constructors championship so that makes me happy uh for next season once we get the new style of cars i know a lot of people aren't f1 fans on the channel but there are a decent amount especially the european ones uh, before I got into F1 maybe like five seasons ago, I didn't know how big F1 was, I guess, across the ocean, across the pond, if you will, out in Europe and just the Middle East and even Asia with how popular it is. I was just, I'm Canadian, right? So all we know is maple syrup and hockey pretty, like literally, like I've been the biggest hockey fan since forever, but F1 came out of nowhere and I was like, wait, this is a thing? But with that being said, I'm going to go grind some SMGs now and try to get those diamond before the update comes out to fix the Panzerfaust. And uh, if there is one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.